All right, we're back, everybody. We're here at Lowe's, and we're going to talk about hammers. So that's one of the first things that actually I did in December was I had to pick up a new hammer, so I got this hammer right here. This is a good framing hammer for me, so we're going to, we're going to talk about hammers, though. But this is the one I had got earlier, earlier because I needed to replace my hammer. And I'll show you what I Literally, you see right here, it's called a waffle. I call it a waffle head. They have some other names for it, too. But literally, my other one, I used it so much, I literally flattened out the waffle. It was almost flat. <laughs> so that's how long I've been using Oops. it for. So. You don't want to use that one on softer woods, though. Do you need to buy? Oh. Do you need to get by? We are. Yeah. Do you need help with a hammer? <laughs> we'll totally help you. <laughs> Just looking, huh? Okay. Yeah, I got a, I got a good nail puller. I got a puller nail from the face of the wood. And, uh, and that one. These are all the different nails. Oh, uh, well, the puller's down that way. Okay. Right yeah, here. there's crowbars right, and pullers and everything yeah. down there. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> we're going to go over hammer here real quick. What hammer you should use and where mm -hmm. you use it and what you need for the job. So. Let's just talk about your common household hammer. The one that you need just, just for pictures and pulling a few nails here and there. Yeah, you're Whatever. not gonna do much with it. Yeah, your common, your common, like this hammer right here. So this is 20 ounces. <laughs> no, what? It's gonna, no. <laughs> so this is a 20 ounce hammer. This is pretty much your basic common hammer. They might have a 16 ounce. That would probably be about the lightest right there. 16 ounces. See, there's not much difference. A little bit of weight, two ounces, four ounces, that's about it. And all that weight is up here. Basically, the weight is what helps get you the momentum to swing. Sorry, I was doing a swinging <laughs> motion. Too fast for the camera. It's like a tomahawk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And basically, what this is a good hammer for your household use is it's got a nice, usually pretty good sized head. You can see, the bigger the head, the easier it is to hit the nail. Um, literally, you gotta, you gotta hit the nail nail on the head they get it drive driven so this literally has a good size it's pretty flat so you're not going to deflect off of the nail yeah and <laughs> sorry everybody. anyway Kim's okay. laughing back there in the <laughs> background I'm not sure what for and it's got a good pull leverage here so you can get it underneath the nail and pull good leverage so you can see you can get back this is goes all the way back like that so you can get good leverage to pull like that so that is a good common household hammer. That's so, why it's curved so much. Yeah, yeah. Your other style of hammers, more framing style, and you can see the big you difference. Can see the difference. Oh, it's flatter. The reason they're flatter usually is, is because we're working in tighter areas, so we need to be up here. If we were all the way back here, we might be hitting a stud back here, or a board, something else that's in the way. So we have less leverage, but, so we can pull. But you also get a long handle too. Yeah, so that's more of a framing hammer. So, yeah, this is this would be your framing hammer selection up here at the top. Right here. All these I'm are framing here here. hammers right through here. And you know, all you need has a claw like that is a claw as you know, is a framing hammer too. Now, one of the added features that I like on some of these new ones. Let me see if I can find it. Great little feature. That is a great feature. It's a nail feature. holder. Mm -hmm. you, you load the nail up, boom, tack. Then you, then you can whack it. Sorry, uh -huh. I'm swinging it. I know that probably doesn't look good on the deal, but that's what that's what that's for. So you don't have to hold it like that, you know. So what's this for right here? That's a little notch puller as well too, so you can get it from right here. Oh, cool. And pull like that, you know. So you can get it started. So if it's down there low, you can get in there, and then you can switch over to that to really get the levers pulled out. Uh -huh. So that's a that's something that's starting to show up here on hammers. I haven't uh -huh. seen that in a lot. So that's a new feature. That's neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back when I was framing, they don't even have a hammer. Oh, this is what I used when I first started. Actually, this is 16 ounces. I had a, they don't even have a hammer that big. I had a 32 ounce framing hammer with a waffle head. It was huge. It was a monster. It works better for driving nails. Yeah, well, as you can imagine, when I was like in my 20s and stuff like that, I was swinging a hammer all day. I had muscles like this. He lies. Me. He never had muscles. I did. <laughs> I did. You did, I promise. When I was younger, <laughs> I was, you know, you know what happened? I started working. You two ate? Jobs, and I ate lousy, <laughs> and all of a sudden my muscle all went away and I got a belly. Your muscles went to your stomach? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty much. <laughs> Here's a tack hammer. Show them so, what that's yeah, for. Yeah, well, let's just work our way through. Okay. So these are your basic fingers. And like I said, you can get them both. There's waffle, non-waffle. I like the waffle heads for framing. Except if you're using them on Any, soft wood. Anything where you're just, you just want to beat that nail into the wood and you don't care what the wood looks like, waffle head is perfectly fine. Meat tenderizer. Yeah, <laughs> That's pretty true. much, yeah. He said a meat if, tenderizer. If you're worried about the finish, guys, like trim work, fascia, any of the soft that you want to keep a nice flat look to it, you want this head right here. So for all your trim work on the outside of your house, you'll want a non-waffle head. Siding. Things like that. You okay. Like that. All right. So here's a nice little baby hammer. Now this is just your tack there. This is great for upholstery and little things like that. Fine nails, like little fine tack nails. This would be the hammer for that job. The next ones here. Not a lot of people are gonna have use for this. This is a mason's hammer. And basically, a really good mason, and I've seen some really good ones. You take a brick, you go tee, 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 around that brick, and then pink, and it breaks in half. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but if you work with bricks every day, you might be able to. If you work with bricks every day, those guys make it like it's easy. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and it's like broken half. You're like, wow. Nice. <laughs> this one here is this is the shingle. Uh, this is the shingle one. This is what I like. This is a shingle hammer. See, it's got the waffle head. That's a big square waffle head because you're driving those shingle nails. And then it's got this nice straight edge. Can you guys see that? Get up there. And then it's got this little bladed edge here too, retractable blade. This is great because what the guys will do with this is, if they put a shingle on there, they'll just like that with this little edge here, the straight edge. And just so when they're running a the shingle, they'll just nail that shingle up, let things go off the edge of the roof, where it's all cut at first. I'll lay it down, measure, cut. They'll lay it off, they'll take this and go and cut right off the edge. Nice, pretty, clean. Yeah. So good when you're roofing? Yes, this is a roofing okay. hammer. That's exactly what this is. Okay. Shingle hammer. Just roofing. checking. Yeah. <laughs> That's our favorite we'll hammer. Talk about this I do not know what the use of this is for. <laughs> Look it's, at this cool handle leather. though. It looks like a golf club. It's leather. I don't know what the advantage of awesome. having that would be other than as my wife says, it's a pretty hammer. <laughs> So if you're looking for a pretty I hammer. I want the golf club hammer. This is the pretty <laughs> hammer. Oh, you know what another thing we should talk about? And I don't see the thing here. These are all straight handles. There's a curve. Well, Here's no, not really. Here's one right here. Okay, I want to show you the difference. So that's a 20 ounce. So here's about the equivalent right here. The shape of the handle. Yep. You can see that these are both metal. Different shapes handles. And then this one has a slight curve, kind of like a hatchet or an axe. And that one is straight. So this uh -huh. one's really good to get a good grip on because you won't slide off. Good whack on that. It's a good grip handler. And these ones are two, you know, and it's got the rubber. These will absorb the impact a lot better than the curves and all wood, the wood. Your wood competitive. The wood will run the whole vibration all the way through the but there is a bonus for having the wood ones you can replace the head but let me tell you you what can replace my, the head pretty dang easily let me tell you what my experience has been on replacing a wood handle into a hammer not good <laughs> but it's easy to do you can do it <laughs> but i've never had good experience with it where it lasts very long it usually okay. ends up coming loose falling apart i usually that's why i just buy these stuff okay okay so they got a couple. That's the mason hammer. Hatchet. Here's just a regular, just a, just a hammer for, well, using. It's a, what do they call it? They call it a standard carpenter's hatchet. I've never actually used one. I'm not exactly sure what I would use it for, but I'm sure there's some guys out there that have Use used it. these and they have a use for it. I've so let us one. know what you use it for. Yeah, let us know what it's used for. It's got a little notch right here, too. So you can hook a nail and pull it out if you need to as well. Okay. But I've never used it. Let's see. Hold on. Am I going to get an estimate right anytime here. soon? Yeah. Hey. He forgot me. <laughs> no, no he forgot. had to talk to Have you about Have you found that, a floor actually? you like yet? So this is okay. really on you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll give her a price on the doors. I gotta give her a price on the doors. So I'll get. No, I have not yet. I okay. will do that. I got that. I was waiting to see if you got a, a floor yet you liked. 
But we'll get you that. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll get you the doors over. <laughs> Customer. She's deciding what floor she wants. <laughs> this is a drywall pan right here. It's got this so you can knock out stuff right here. But this is an interesting design. We had to see. I'm going to try to hold it up like that. It's rounded and it's got the waffle to it. So when you drive the nail in, it makes a nice little indention in the sheetrock. When you mud it, it fills in nicely. That's why it's shaped like that. And no clue where I got the one. All right, right there, that's good enough. Okay. Moving down. Bed blow hammers. Now, I call them the Moroccan hammers. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's got a bunch of uh, ball bearings in there, lead shot, whatever you want to call it, weight. So when you hit something, it as you can see, there's no bounce at all. And I actually do have a couple of these. We use them for flooring a lot. Uh, we like them on the flooring because we put a block of wood up against a piece of flooring that we're driving in and we'll hit that block of wood with this. It doesn't bounce off, but it's not as destructive as trying to use a metal head. So that block of wood, our little driving block, will last a lot longer. With this it's great one. for real estate signs too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can use them for real estate signs. <laughs> or you want a light hammer but still want to get the weight into it yeah. to drive it, this is a good job for it, that. It won't hurt the sign. It's got a harder surface on it than like your rubber mallet competitors right here. These uh -huh. have softer surfaces, so they'll tear up more. So that's that. These are your standard old rubber mallet hammers. And you can see, you can see that bounce on that bad boy. Yep. It, it, it bounces. These are good for a lot of different things. I haven't used I don't use rubber mount that much, I guess. Uh, not really. I don't know what I would use it for. Driving uh, material around, I guess. I need to push around a little bit to work out great for that. Then they have this style one here. It's kind of metal with rubber on each end. A little bit hard surface on this. A little bit softer surface on this side. This is kind of a dead bowl blow in between style. This might work out good for flooring too. I'm going to do one of these and try it out for that. And then you got your good old sledgehammers. Demolition hammers. <clears throat> These guys right here, that was really heavy. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna step down and have a lighter one so I can handle it. I like these guys right here. These are great for construction work when you're fitting up walls and stuff like that. Especially old construction where the house is already standing and you put a new wall up in between. Because what happens when you go stand a wall, you catch it here, you catch it back here, and then you're kind of at stuck point. These guys are good for tapping that wall over and get it standing up in the right spot and then moving around here and there a little bit quarter inch there and there just to get the uh just to get in the right spot where you want it so and then you got the whole selection you got this one right here for the with the chipper hammer on it and then there's some other variety hammers we didn't talk about ball hammer not a lot of call for this in construction metal work Yes, so automotive. Uh, duct work. Duct work, you can use it. Anytime you're shaping metal, basically, this little ball pin is really good for shaping metal. My dad, I actually have a collection of these because dad was in the automotive business, so I actually have some in my garage. And I don't think I've ever really used them. <laughs> but that's that, another hammer right there. So that's your different varieties of hammers, guys. And we're going to be making more videos this year, showing different tools, different products, where they go, how to use them, the best way to use them, things like that. And so that's something we're going to be showing. If you have any tools you'd like us to show you, that you have questions about, tell us. Product, let us know in the comments below, and maybe we'll go look it up and see what we can do a video on that tool or that product. So until next time, have a great one, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye.